What's up, galera? Tô aí. What the fuck is this shit? Dude, fucking mask. Quit that shit already. Driving in your car with a mask. What are you gonna do? You're gonna go outside with that thing on? Damn, dude, this shit's stupid. Anyway, guys, I'm back here with another tutorial. Today, we're gonna talk about how to do intro into the bachelor with a beating bow. So, a lot of people don't know. Whenever you turn the CD on, uh, or you hear it, or you put it on YouTube, and the songs begin with a little intro before they kick into whatever rhythm, whether it's something like Anchi Angola, Anchi Bimba, Angela Angola. So, I'm gonna go over three simple ones. Yes, I have a lot. There's a bunch of cool ones, but hopefully, after I teach you a couple, you'll be able to hear them and figure it out yourself. Because uh, that's exactly what I did. Uh, once I was able to, uh, no one taught me, but. Uh, when, you know, once I was able to uh, copy one, then I was able to pick, decipher the other one. So we're talking about. Let's go ahead and get started. Come on, man. Of course, once again, I'm going to start with the easiest. Okay. So the easiest one is going to be this. Okay. Very easy. Down, 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 ding. Then you're going to go into the other one. Very easy. One more time. Down, 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 ding. So for example, you might hear it at the beginning, and then all the three bidding mouths, like if you're listening to it on a CD, or like a, an MP3, or a YouTube video, and you hear that, and then there's a second bit, uh, bidding mouth that comes in, usually remember the, bit, the bass comes in first, the gunger, okay, then the mezzo, and then the viola, okay, if you're listening to uh, like a contemporaneo or an Angola uh, CD, or a hoda. So anyway. And they all usually come in the same way. They don't have to, but I like it when it does. Uh, sometimes they'll come with their own variation, which is cool also. But a lot of times, when Ashe does it a lot, they all come with the same way. Dun, 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 ding, dun, ding, dun, dun, and the next one comes, the measure comes in. Dun, 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 dun. Of course, the way that they're tuned. So one more time. Number one. Okay. All right, awesome. Next one. We're going to be doing um, the, ne the next level up one. I'm going to keep it simple. Like I said, I have a whole bunch of different variations. So number two is going to be this. Oops, crap. <laughs> Oops, a little bit low ceiling. Is going to be. Um, oh yeah. Down, okay. down, 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 ding. You're going to hear this a lot, also on Ashe. Slow down again. Okay, or they could go and relax. Sometimes do a quick demonstration of it using B, it has an all G beam, see? Just let you know. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit faster than the next one because you already know. If you haven't seen my other video, go back and check that out where I kind of go over some of these. So the third one is going to be that one of those last fills, the improvisation fills that I showed you. I'm gonna use it as to come in. It goes don don ding don don. Okay, so don don ding don ding dong dong. Now I hear this a lot in the Bangela song, so I'm gonna show you uh, some of the Dutch jungle. I'm gonna show you how. I think I first picked it up uh, on the um, was it? Oh yeah. Uh, Graduado Voador CD, it was Nago Capoeira, uh, and, he just, and they do that a lot, a lot of their Bangala stuff, but I hear it on other ones also, so it goes like this. Okay. Remember that from last, that last video, I'll put the card up there. Okay. It just lends itself easy, easier to Bangela. That's why, that's why I started with that first. So one more time in uh, Bangela, because when don't, sh, don't, ding, don't, don, that next, that first note that you go into your pattern, it's got to be either like Angola or Bangela, right? Okay, so let's finish it up.
Okay, so those are three uh, different intros that you could use to come in on the bidding bow whenever you're doing the intro. So I just want to make that clear that a lot of people use that, all three of them use the same one to come in. That's when you're really in key and really in tune with your the people in your bidding and your batch idea. And that's why usually only the, the highest ranking people occupy those those parts in the batch idea. They want to start it out good. The met three great masters, professores, quanta mestis, and they know that because they've been wor working with each other and, or working with other high level companies for years. And it just comes with time, but it doesn't mean you can't practice. Trust me, there's a lot of schools out there all around the United States, all around the world that, um, that have just you know regular up and coming lower chords or medium level chords, and there's only one or two high level ranking people: graduados, professores, monitores, instructores, masters, contra masters, mestrandos, etc. So uh, don't worry about it. Try your best. Hope you use these videos. Uh, don't forget to take the 90 second uh, survey, top order survey down below. Also grab a bidding bow. I put the link below for my guys, um, and you grab one to so start practicing. If the case there's going to be another shutdown, I hear. Uh, if you're in one of those states that are going to shut down, uh, hey, get a beating bow, practice at home, um, you know, train cop water, train in my cop water videos, buy one of my programs, you know how to do it, guys. So until next time, Gene Gun Grow Strong. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you get all my vids. And check out the bidding bow link below to get your own bidding bow. Simbora.